the deputy president kept on at that time talking about the need to have good institutions, institutions that work, that are functional, that are independent. Ladies and gentlemen, that message was so vital. And as we reflect on our victory, let us now actually acknowledge that the chairman of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and the teams that worked there, who have held out and stood forthright in the midst of all sorts of intimidation to make sure that the will of the people was not stolen, have given us an example of the kind of leadership we need when we want to have good institutions. Our president-elect made a very critical statement when he was receiving his certificate. Can you imagine that somebody actually reached the chairman of IBC and punched him? Can you imagine that people actually injured the commissioners of IBC and staff and injured them? Can you imagine that there are some people who are actually in the glare of the international community, in the international media, in front of those international observers, actually preparing to stage a coup? A coup on the eve of the declaration of the will of the people of Kenya. Those people have brought a lot of shame to the Kenyan nation. But we want to thank God and thank the men and women who stood forthright and said that come what may, we shall make sure that what God has destined through the people, through the vote, shall not be subverted. And today we stand here knowing that our president is William Samoy Ruto. <laughs>